My greetings to you all. My name is John Ejikum Kufua, former president of the Republic of Ghana. It is my pleasure to be able to address you at this important forum. And I welcome this opportunity to bring my message to such a committed research community. The ANH Academy Week and Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Nutrition Symposium is not only a platform for sharing what we know about food systems, nutrition, and health. It also offers us the opportunity to connect country leaders with passionate advocates of evidence-based policy for health and nutrition. What we have in common is the aspiration to create a stronger future to drive development in our societies. As the president of Ghana, I often found myself making decisions informed by the rich history of our past, the opportunities of the present, and the potential for the future of our citizens. For me, decisions are fundamentally based on one simple question. What best supports development? As co-chair of the Global Panel, I ask myself the same question. I've come to believe that what drives development, innovation, and progress is people, and we cannot grow as nations if we are not providing adequate nutrition for all. As the Global Panel's foresight report, food systems and diets facing the challenges of the 21st century shows, food systems are failing to deliver high quality diets. The cost of malnutrition will continue to impact the health and wealth of our societies and will hold us back from achieving our full potential. But what this report makes clear is that we have the chance to change this trend now. We must rethink how we grow, produce, process, market, and prepare food to ensure that people are well nourished. Today, I'm here to call for a stronger alignment of evidence-based research with implementable policies and invest investments. We need to, to strengthen collective efforts for a closer dialogue between the research community, governments, and the private sector on food systems. That is why I'm glad to hear that the ANH Academy Week and Nutrition Innovation Lab Symposium is encouraging this process. Your support, commitment, and, and innovation in producing robust evidence is crucial to allow us to make informed policy actions. The Global Panel, which I co-chair with Sir John Beddington, former UK's Chief Scientific Advisor, promotes dialogue with governments in Africa and South Asia advocating the advantages of investing in research and policies that enhance nutrition. The panel has produced a wide range of policy and technical briefs, most recently on food environments and consumer behavior. As global panel events around the world show, governments are increasingly receptive to these messages and have the opportunity to make their contribution to the decade of action on nutrition and sustainable development goals. But to achieve this ambitious goal, we need the support of all of you here, particularly from the younger researchers who have the power to reposition research to deliver high quality diets. We also need to encourage intersectoral research, particularly in regions where data are insufficient to inform policies. Ultimately, we need the evidence to resonate with policy leaders. Initiatives such as the ANH Academy and Nutrition Innovation Lab have a pivotal role to play in facilitating learning and sharing among researchers from diverse disciplines and research initiatives, and also with policymakers from food, agriculture, and nutrition sectors. In South Asia, panel member Professor Srinath Reddy is now leading a conversation with senior decision makers from Nepal, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, 
Bhutan and Maldives to foster a new leadership initiative. We hope Sapling will sit alongside this train initiative. The African Leaders for Nutrition, which I champion alongside the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akiumi Adesina. Together, we encourage heads of state, finance ministers, and business leaders to increase investments in nutrition in Africa. These initiatives are the testimony that the momentum on nutrition is high. Collectively, we can achieve a great impact during the decade of action on nutrition and help achieve targets set out in the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you for your kind attention.